on the Bernina 570 Quilters Edition, you actually have four thread cutters on this machine. And we're gonna start from the top because identifying all four of these is gonna make your sewing so much easier because you never know what you need to cut and when. So first off, when you're winding a bobbin, your first thread cutter is right underneath this part here. So after it winds a bobbin and stops, take the bobbin, lift up, come around the back side of this and cut the thread. So you don't have to have scissors every time you wind a bobbin. Next, the most obvious is your thread cutter system right here with the picture of the scissors. So when you're sewing along, and I'm gonna just pick a straight stitch, once I have stitched, when I want to end, I can go ahead and touch the thread cutter. It cuts the thread and lifts the foot up. Now there is a place in the settings of this machine, which is when you touch the home and the area where the gears are, you can actually set up what is done when you press that thread cutter. So that's something to check into so you can see what options are. You can have it lock, you can have it do different types of locking stitches, but my favorite is to cut and then lift the foot. The next one is actually down in the bobbin area and you can actually see it through the little table that is on the machine. So I'm gonna open this up and you can see your third thread cutter is right here. So after I put my bobbin in, I'm gonna put my bobbin in and then drop my thread over this cutter and then close the door and forget about it. As we come to the side of the machine, we find another thread cutter on the side. You can use this from the front to the back or from the back to the front. Now, why would I be using this if there's ever a time where I could just use that? that little button on the front. But if you press the button that lifts the presser foot up, when you bring your fabric out to the side, and I naturally go from front to back, that's just kind of my normal direction, that it cuts the thread and I have bobbin thread up. So that is sometimes a preference for me is to have this thread up on the top side, especially when I do free motion quilting, because then I can bring that bobbin thread up to the top take a few stitches and then continue my free motion and not have to worry about that thread getting kind of knotted on the back of my quilt. Now, as I'm reminded over here that there is a thread cutter, there's actually five cutters on this machine because there's one right on the inside as well. I wouldn't normally use the thread cutter to necessarily cut thread from a fabric, because watch this, when I lift the presser foot up and I bring my fabric this way, it's gonna take the thread out from underneath the presser foot. But if that is an easier cutting option for you, you sure can take your th fabric and thread, you're gonna come from the back towards you and cut it. But the reason that cutter is actually there is to be used with the needle threader. So let me show you a little trick. I'm gonna unthread the needle, we're gonna use the needle threader as normal, go ahead and put the thread in. And then if your tail is long enough, come over here with the thread cutter and cut it to the perfect length. Then all you have to do is let go of the needle threader and that actually makes it easy to have the perfect length to pull through and then be ready to stitch. So I hope you'll experiment with all four, now five thread cutters on this machine so you can actually see all the benefits and save you lots of time when you sit down to sew.